Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open another Throne of Eldraine bundle, this time for one of the patrons. So the patron today is Cosmo. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have the Ginger Brute. So he has gotten us the crazy pulls before, so let's see how we do today. And thank you for being a patron, Cosmo, much appreciated. And he got some tasty pulls out of the collector packs last night. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll pop a link up in the corner there. You can check it out. Alright, so let's see here. Nothing else in there. So we have 10 packs. A very cool spin down. Let's roll 7. We get a 1. Not what we're looking for. And of course gets the Piper of the Swarm promo along with a bunch of lands. Let's take a quick look at those. And we've got regular lands as well, nothing too exciting there. So we have Piper of the Swarm. Got to the Plains. Islands. Swamp, I particularly like that one. And mountains, forests, very cool. So we'll set that stuff aside and get the patch blessing underway. So this is how we do it, people. Alright, so maybe, possibly, perhaps the Ginger Brute will be on his game today. Let's go. Okay, we start off with Foreboding Fruit, Rimrock Knight, Flutterfox, Signpost Scarecrow, True Love's Kiss, Fell the Pheasant, Mantle of Tides, Youthful Knight, Roving Keep, Into the Story, Arcanist Owl, Heraldic Banner, and the rare is Witch's Vengeance. Very cool. And, oh, look at that Queen of Ice showcase card. Set that aside, a foil no less, and a forest, and a fairy token. Okay, so get my piles sorted out here, uncommons. On to the next pack here. Okay, we have Thrill of Possibility. Trapped in the Tower, Reaper of Night, Embereth Paladin, didn't say please, Silver Flame Squire, Eye Collector, Prophet of the Peak, Tall as a Beanstalk, Witching Well, and Uncommon's Oakham Ranger, Beanstalk Giant, Steel Claw Lance, and a Mythic! Yes, it's Garrett Cursed Huntsman, fantastic pull here! The full art version, Legendary Planeswalker Garrick, 5 loyalty for 6. His 0 ability, create 2, 2-2 two, two black and green wolf creature tokens with when this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garrick you control. His minus 3, destroy target creature, draw a card. Minus 6, you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus 3, plus 3 and have trample. Fantastic pull there. And a mountain and a boar token. Okay, so we've got some lighting issue here, let's fix that. Okay, next pack. So off to a fantastic start here already for Cosmo. Much better than the bundle we did the other day. We have Unexplained Vision, Barrow Witches, Weaselback Redcap, Goblin Knight, Stillgaze Griffin, Fairy Guide Mother, Crystal Slipper, Scolding Cauldron, Wolf's Quarry, Corridor Monitor, Prized Griffin, and Uncommons. Archon of Absolution, Slaying Fire, Cauldron Familiar, and the rare is Castle Lock Thwain. So this is a land, enters the battlefield, tap unless you control a swamp. You can tap it for a single black mana, pay one and two black, tap, draw a card, then you lose life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Okay, and a swamp and an adventure token. Okay, so let's see, we need a few more mythics. The record number of mythics we had from a bundle was five, so 
If you have not seen that Ravnica Allegiance bundle video, I'll pop a link up in the corner. Absolute craziness! So we start off with a Raging Red Cat Goblin Knight, Charm Sleep, Festive Funeral, Searing Barrage, Toon Vale Tree Folk, Misford River Turtle, Fortifying Provisions, Dwarven Mine, Memory Theft, and Uncommons we've got the Hypnotic Sprite, this is the Showcase Border, we'll put that over there. Grumgully the Generous, Flaxen Intruder, and the rare is Wishclaw Talisman, Artifact for two, enters the battlefield with three wish counters on it, and for one tap, remove a wish counter from it, search your library for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library and opponent gains control of Wishclaw Talisman, activate this ability only during your turn. And a Foil Swamp, very nice, with a island and an MTG Arena add. How are you doing in the new MTG Arena metagame? Have you participated in the event where you could potentially win the entire set of standard cards in Arena? How are you doing now? I think you had to win like 11 or 12 games in a row pretty much. Seems a bit tough to me. Next we have Malevolent Noble, Barjin, Garambrig Paladin, Tempting Witch. Very suspicious arms creeping out of the Outfit there, Henge Walker, Rosethorn Halberd, Wishful Merfolk, Beloved Princess, Witch's Cottage, Lockthwain Gargoyle, Venerable Knight, firstly Uncommons, and we've got cards going everywhere here. These ones, the finish seems to be uh, smoother than usual. Claim the Firstborn, Edgewall Innkeeper, and nice, another one, Emery Lurker of the Lock. Legendary Creature, Merfolk Wizard, 1, 2 for 3. The spell costs 1 less to cast for each artifact you control. And when it enters the battlefield, put the top 4 cards of your library into your graveyard. You can tap, choose a target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. Okay, and a mountain and food. So we are doing very nicely here for Cosmo. That Garrick is amazing. Okay, next we have Stillgaze Griffin. Smitten Swordmaster, Rimrock Knight, Unexplained Vision, Rose Thorn Halberd, Opt, True Love's Kiss, Insatiable Appetite, Misford River Turtle, Silver Flame Ritual, Uncommons Fairy Vandal, Rampart Smasher, Flaxen Intruder, and another Wish Claw Talisman. What is going on here? And a Plains and an Ad. Okay, down to the last four packs. Seems like the gingerbread man ran out of steam. Let's hope that's not the case. We have Bloodhaze Wolverine, Vatris Paladin, Reeve Soul, Seven Dwarves, Eye Collector, Rosethorn Acolyte, Ro Tome Raider, Lonesome Unicorn, Mystic Sanctuary, Youthful Knight and the Uncommons Rally for the Throne, Tournament Grounds, Epic Downfall and a Mythic Ember Cleave. Nice. Legendary Artifact Equipment for six has Flash. This will cost one less to cast for each attacking creature you control. And when it enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has double strike and trample. You can equip it for three. Okay, so two Mythics so far. Forest and Adventure Token, last three packs. A few more Mythics, please, Gingerbread Man. Okay, next we have Forever Young, Embereth Paladin, Out Muscle, Bacon to a Pie, Blow Your House Down, Idyllic Grange, Wildwood Tracker, So Tiny, Silver Flame Squire, Prophet of the Peak, and Uncommon's Overwhelmed Apprentice, Once and Future, Grumgully the Generous, and the rare is Sundering Stroke. It's a sorcery for seven. Do seven damage, divide as you choose among one, two, or three targets. If at least seven red mana was spent to cast the spell, instead it deals seven damage to each of those permanents and or players. Nice. And a mountain and a rat token. Okay, so... Still on the hunt for mythics. We have a crashing drawbridge, lost legion, 
Red Cap Raiders, Creature Goblin Warrior, Reaper of Night, Insatiable Appetite, Queen of Ice, Outflank, Fling, Giant Skewer, ah, oh, I'm gonna have an avalanche over here. Spore Cap Spider, Enchanted Carriage versus the Uncommon Shepherd of the Flock, Deathless Knight, and that's particularly good in the Showcase version. And the rare. What is happening here? We're getting duplicates all over the place. Sundering Stroke. Not what we were looking for. Mountain and a human. Last pack. How can we have so many duplicates? Why can't we have duplicate mythics? Next we have Ogre Errant. Tempting Witch. Merchant of the Vale. Fierce Witch Stalker. Gingerbread Cavern. Jousting Dummy, Garenbrig Carver, Moonlit Scavengers, Bartered Cow, oh nice, Animating Fairy, Showcase Version, Shepherd of the Flock, Fireborn Knight, and the rare is Dance of the Mance, Sorcery for X, White and Blue, Return Up to X, Target, Artifact and or Non Aura Enchantment Cards, each with Convert Amount of Cost X or Less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Fex is six or more. Those permanents are 4 4 creatures in addition to their other types. Okay, at least it wasn't a duplicate. And a foil clockwork servant with a island and a wolf token. Okay, so true highlights here. We've got the Garrick and the Ember Cleave and a bunch of duplication. Not sure what happened there. So there we have it. Thank you for being a patron Cosmo and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.